So insulation is a very important part of a home because insulation is a material that regulates the flow of heat in and out of the home. So obviously, for a better quality home and a better quality experience of a home, you need to have a moderate fluctuation in temperature. So having insulation allows you to create a more even temperature inside your home, no matter what's happening outside the home. The materials that you're using for the external fabric of a home, uh, whether it be brick or sheet cladding product or metal, they all have an effect on the amount of insulation that a home can have. The other benefit we have now in Australia is we have a lot of different types of insulation products. There are some really thin uh, insulation products that can be 8 or 10 or 12 mil that use a foam air cell technology to actually provide as much insulation as a normal bat would. Simple things like building papers even provide a certain level of insulation and air tightness to, to a building. In Victoria, the more insulation, the better. Um, you know, the, as much insulation as you can get in the roof is critical because we have a lot of heat loss through the roof. On that thermal mass is really important too. So if you don't have any thermal mass in your building because it's all lightweight, we look at using a phase change material that provides a simulation on thermal mass that's for lightweight construction. When it comes to types of insulation, um, wall bats, Roof bats, they're important. We look at recycled polyester bats or rock wool in fire proofing applications. And then under slab insulation and slab ed edge insulation is critical as well for concrete slab on ground construction because um, that isolates the temperature of the slab from the temperature of the ground. In Queensland, a lot of our homes you might notice are built with a brick veneer skin, which is essentially a, a skin of brick on the outside of the home with a lightweight structure and plasterboard on the inside of the home. In Queensland, that's not actually always great because those bricks will heat up. Later on at night, they'll radiate that heat into the home. What actually works better in Queensland, in my opinion, is the reverse brick veneer, where you have a lightweight cladding on the outside, so during the day, the shading on the facade and the sun doesn't permeate into the brick um, and hold its energy in the brick during the day and therefore the brick mass inside keeps the home cool for longer, both during the day and the night. So the R value is simply just a measure of the thermal efficiency of a building and the building fabric. The higher the R value, the better the performance. So when we're designing buildings that are sustainable, we try to achieve in our uh, materials and finishes, particularly for the external elements of the home, a higher R value as possible. Insulation in renovations can be tricky. Where the budget allows to either take the cladding or the plasterboard off so that you can have full access to re-insulate, that would be the ideal scenario. But where that doesn't allow, we look at um, thermal compartmentalization. So um, putting in airlock doors and things like that, that means um, if you're you have a heritage part of the house that is cooler because it's single glazed and uninsulated, that that doesn't contaminate the heating um, in the insulated part of the house. Looking at the roof spaces and the corners in, in your home are really important because a lot of air is lost from your roof because hot air rises. And obviously in Queensland, we want to stop solar radiation into the home. So the roof space is the first place you should try and insulate well. Walls of homes, particularly your western facing walls, and also even under floor with our Queensland homes, often a lot of those are raised up off the ground. And that's a design technique to allow for ventilation to come into a home, but also can be quite cold in the winter. So subfloor insulation is actually a really great tool to regulate temperature of homes in Queensland as well.